In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an assignment in Google Classroom that has a template that you want students to fill out. So maybe you have a hyperdoc that you want to share with students and you want them to add their own information to it. This video will show you how to do that. So I've already logged into Google Classroom. I need to go to the Classwork tab. And on the Classwork tab, I'm going to hit the Create button. I'm going to create an assignment. In the Assignment window, I'm going to give the assignment a title and some instructions. So for this particular assignment, I've created a template that I want each student to fill out his or her information. So I'm going to go ahead and add that template now. And it's available in my Google Drive. And it was a recent file that I had just uploaded or just worked with. So I'm going to use the recent filter and add it there. Now I need to decide what I want the students to be able to do with the file. In this particular assignment, I want each student to submit his or her own presentation. So I'm going to change the view to make a copy for each student. Google Classroom will then make a copy for each student, and each student will have his her, or her own copy to work with. Um, I also have a directions doc that I want to add to this assignment, which is also in my Drive. So I'm going to go back to Drive and I'm going to find that doc that has the directions on it, and I'm going to add that as well. So you can add multiple attachments to a Google Classroom assignment. Over here on the left or the right hand side, we're going to decide who we want this assignment to be for. I can assign it to multiple class periods or multiple sections. I can assign it to all students, or I can pick specific students in the class to assign it to. I can decide how many points I want the assignment to be worth, or I can make it ungraded. I can give the assignment a due date, or I can leave it blank, and I can also assign the assignment a topic to keep my, um, my classwork tab organized. So this is going to be daily work. We'll want it to go into that. So we're going to go ahead and click Assign. So the assignment has been created, and we made it part of daily work, which we can see the daily work topic here. That assignment will go to the bottom of that uh, topic. But if we wanted to, we could move it around within the daily work topic uh, and position it at the top. Now let's go. So if we click on that and open it, we can see this is what it looks like on the teacher side. We see the two documents that I have attached. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what this looks like on the student side. I've switched over to a student view, and if we click on the Classwork tab and we look at the Daily Work session, section, we will see here is that presentation that we just assigned. If the student clicks on it, you'll see that it looks just a little bit different than it does on the student side. Um, the student can click View Assignment to see any more assignment details. They'll notice that the work, the slideshow that I created and made a copy of for each student is listed over here in the Your Work area. Any additional materials uh, that you attached would be listed over over here. So if we open this assignment as a student, you'll see that um, one of the nice things about this is that Google Classroom goes ahead and names this assignment for the student. So it includes the student's name in front of the document title. So each student will have his or her own presentation in this case to work on uh, and be able to submit. And when a student is done with their assignment, they will want to be sure and click the Turn In button and turn it in. Now if we go back to a teacher account, we can see now that we have one assignment turned in. And if we click on that, we will be able to see which student who has turned the assignment in, and we will be able to access that student's work.